Good morning, it's Karen Dubs with FlexibleWarrior.com and when you're on vacation and it's summertime, usually the first thing that goes is your workouts. <laughs> you know, you get on vacation and you just sort of drop everything and then you're playing catch up once you get home. So for me, I try to just still continue to do just 10 minutes a day of my yoga practice and that usually means that I'm up before anybody else is if I'm traveling with other people. myself so that I can do my sun salutations. A lot of times, like right now, I don't have a yoga mat. I don't even have my yoga pants, but that's okay because you don't need really anything um, aside from your commitment to your own health and wellness and flexibility and strength and balance. So what we're going to do this morning, this beautiful scenery at one of my friend's houses in Virginia, is um, just do a short meditation, a little bit of flexibility, and um, hopefully setting the intention to really enjoy the present moment. So let's go ahead and just come to a seated position if you want to just cross your legs or come to a lotus or a half lotus if that feels comfortable in your hips. Either way, it's important that you sit up as tall as you can. And if you're outdoors, it's even better. Again, don't make excuses because you don't have equipment. It's not important. So hands rest onto your knees, sit up as tall as you can. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe in, I want you to fill up your belly, rise up through the heart and the chest, and lift up through the crown of the head towards the sky. Relax your eyes closed. And wherever you are, just really take in your surroundings with your eyes closed. So feel the air on your skin, hear the noises around you, the birds, sounds of nature and as you exhale just consciously relax your shoulders relax any tension that's in your jaw and relax your hips so if you've been traveling a lot whether you're driving or traveling by plane um, typically the hips and the low back will get tight so just really relax your hips we're going to do some hips and back openers this morning just 10 minutes one more time deep breath in just really take that intention and in with the in-breath of being grateful and being present. And as you exhale, soften tension, let go. Have faith that everything exactly as it's supposed to be, and you're exactly where you're supposed to be in the present moment. And open your eyes back up, and we're going to make our way to child's pose. So again, if you don't have a mat, which I don't this morning, it's okay. You if your knees are sensitive, you might want to find a towel or something to roll up and put under your knees. We're just going to start with cat-cow. So coming to your hands and your knees, just to loosen up your back, you're going to spread your fingertips out wide. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. You're going to inhale, tilt your tailbone up, shrug your shoulders back. Exhale, flex your spine around it and stretch your low back, tucking your chin to your chest. Do that again. Inhale, open the chest, lift the tailbone up, shrug the shoulders back, keep the elbows straight, exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, hollow the belly, and bring the chin to the chest. Curl your toes under, press your palms, and lift up into downward facing dog. Again, if you don't have a slippy surface, just make sure, I mean, I'm fine, I'm here on rocks this morning. Um, I've been down on the, the um, wood, uh, and that's fine too. Pedal out the heels, walk the toes out. Most importantly, just make sure that you're grounded through your hands and through your heels. Okay, one more time, pedaling the heels. And then both heels down. You're going to inhale, draw to plank pose, right to the top of a push-up. And then as you exhale, you use your core muscles to lift you back up into downward facing dog. Inhale, draw forward. Use your core muscles, push through your palms. Exhale, push back. Well, one more time, just like that. Inhale, draw forward to plank. Exhale, push back to downward dog. On your last one, we're going to hold it and come all the way down to your stomach. So you can bend your knees on the way down if you'd like to modify. Otherwise, it's straight legs. 
going to inhale into cobra. Getting the fisherman a little show this morning. Elbows hug in, shoulders pull down. Exhale, release out of that. You're going to curl your toes and come up through a push up. You can, you can modify with bent knees if you like to. And push back into downward facing dog. One more time, inhale. Actually, two more times. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower down. Inhale into cobra. Really focus on lifting your heart, hugging your elbows in, breathing in that fresh air. Release out of that, curl your toes. Exhale through a push up again, either straight legs or that knees with the push up. And hinge into downward facing dog. And one more time. Deep breath into plank. Pull the belly in. Feel the core engage with your plank. Exhale, lower to the mat and make sure those elbows are really tight. Inhale to open up to your cobra. And then curl your toes. Lift up into downward facing dog. And let's take three more breaths in downward dog. And just focus on really pulling the belly in, lifting the tailbone up, and sinking the heels down so you get a good stretch through your calves. And then release your knees. So go ahead and flip around, have a seat, and um, we're going to do just some seated hip openers because typically if you don't have a mat, um, you know, the easier way to do some things is just seated. And then that way you can take in your surroundings too. Okay, so you're gonna just keep, let's put the right foot on the ground and fold your left ankle over just like this. So this is your seated version of pigeon. So you can have your hands behind your back and that'll give you a little bit more support. Or you can reach around and have your elbow under your foot and around your knee if that that's available to you, you can go there. Otherwise, just hands behind your back. Gives you a little bit more back support if your hips are a little tighter. Okay, take a deep breath in and out through your nose. And really take in your surroundings. I am so grateful to be here this morning. And then as you exhale, draw your rib cage and your chest a little closer to this front shin. So you're gonna deepen your stretch. And then go ahead and from that and all you're going to do is take your hands behind you you're going to fold this leg in front of you so that you're going to come to a seated twist so your foot is down outside your thigh your other hand is across your knee you're going to, you're going to take your left hand and put it behind your back sit up as tall as you can you're going to twist towards your left side so you're getting a nice rotation through your spine and a twist through your low back Look up and over your shoulder and just make sure the back of your neck is long so you're not looking down or up, but you're neutral with your neck and your thoracic spine. Just take one more breath here. And then go ahead and rotate out of it. So this um, front leg is going to fold out in front of you now. So it's on the ground. And you're going to do um, another hip stretch. So your hands are just going to walk forward. And, and you just go as far as you can, so you get a nice stretch through your hips and through your low back. Now, if you are a little bit more flexible, you can take this foot and put it on top, and that's just gonna give you a little bit more of a stretch. Okay, we're gonna take five breaths here. So go ahead and release out of that, and if you can, stack your fists on top of each other like this, and just rest your forehead on your fists. I know you can't really probably see me at this point, but um, relaxing down and supporting your head with your hands so that you really get to relax your shoulders. All right, two more deep breaths in and out through your nose. So you want to try to breathe as deeply as you can. And when you exhale, exhale as completely as possible too. So you're really feeling your lungs empty with the out breath. And that really sends a calming message for your central nervous system and allows you to really relax just for a second or two. All it takes sometimes. So you're going to uh, put your left foot down and cross your right ankle over. You may notice right away that one hip is tighter than the other, like this hip is definitely tighter for me. So if your hands are behind you, I forgot to mention that you want to turn your fingertips in to face you, and that's just because it's going to allow you to keep actively pushing through your hands and opening your chest. Otherwise, if you, if you do this, everyone tends to lock out the elbows and slump, which we definitely don't want to do. Okay, so if the hands are out in front of you, um, you can support you know, with your hand under your foot and your knee, just like the other side. Otherwise, hands behind you, fingertips turned. Okay, let's take one more breath here. Oh, the breeze feels fabulous. Sometimes it's just such a 
of summer is so fantastic that way. One more deep breath in and out through your nose. And exhale, let it go. Okay, you're gonna um, take this foot that's out in front, fold it underneath, so your other foot comes down, touches down to the ground. Um, and what you wanna try to do, and I forgot to mention this on the other side, is that you wanna try to rock your, in this case, your right hip so that it's level to the ground, because it's really normal to lean to your left because you don't wanna feel that strong stretch through your right hip, but you wanna to try to keep the hips as level as possible. You're gonna take your left hand and grab onto the outside of your right knee, right hand behind your back. Sit up as tall as you can. And then exhale, twist. So with your left hand outside of your knee, you're gonna get a little bit more stretch by pressing the hand into the knee and drawing it even closer to your opposite shoulder because that's gonna give you that stretch through the outside of your right hip. Take one more breath. And then rotate slowly out of it. So from here, you're just gonna fold your left shin under like we did on the other side, and then the right shin's out in front. I'm gonna, there's a, a flight of steps here, so that's what I'm trying to avoid going down the step to just make sure that you're aware of your surroundings obviously it's not a yoga studio so it's a little bit more creative walk your hands as far forward as you can and sometimes there's bugs and stuff like this morning for me um, there's a beautiful breeze the sun is hopefully going to poke out from behind the clouds um, but with the breeze you know there's no bugs but um, sometimes it's time breath in and out through your nose next time I'll remember to pack my um, my natural bug repellent but I had forgotten it. as you exhale really consciously relax those shoulders relax your hips and then go ahead and sit yourself up good so we're just going to finish with a short breathing practice and meditation so again just like we did at the beginning sit up as tall as you can You can have your hands rest onto your knees and you can turn them up if you like or turn them to face down. Either way, it's all good. Relax your eyes closed. Bring awareness to your posture and your spine. So you want to draw the belly slightly in so the tailbone is down. Lift the collarbone and the heart. Relax the shoulders. Relax the hands, the fingertips. Relax your jaw, space between your eyebrows, your forehead. And again, with your eyes relaxed closed, just really Take in your surroundings. And set the intention to be grateful. Grateful for the opportunity, all the people that have allowed you to be where you are right now. Maybe there's someone taking care of your children. Gratitude for that. Or your animals, in my case. Grateful for that. And all the opportunities that we have to travel and connect with our friends and different places on this beautiful planet. So let's just take two or three more breaths. Set that intention of gratitude.
of time for yourself on your busy travel days. Thank you so much. Don't forget to send me your requests at karen at flexiblewarrior.com. Namaste.